Yes. Happy Thursday. The sun is actually rising as I speak. The sun is rising. Good morning. Sun is rising. I think it comes out at 7 or 9 this morning. So that's what the sun is doing right now, rising up. Get the chipotle. The chickens. Excuse me. <laughs> you can hear the chickens just making their noise. And people know that they are up already. Yeah, very interesting. Let me see this. Very interesting. So what am I thinking of this morning? As I get ready to do this quick marathon. Yeah, I'm saying a quick marathon. Just like I did yesterday. <laughs> so that's what it is, just like I did yesterday. Quick marathon. So doing it again this morning. Very interesting what the body can do. I call this collective consciousness. Yes, the ability to tell the mind what to do. I'm still trying to figure things out myself. <laughs> uh, that's what I'm doing right now. Trying to figure things out. Yes. Trying to seek answers. It's funny how your body can recuperate very quickly because these days uh, making your body back to normal is so easy. Ah, let me see this. Uh, yeah. All right, let's get this thing going. So still a quick one this morning. Trail is sort of empty. <laughs> <laughs> The tree is just doing this thing. You can still hear that noise of the night. It was actually pitch black. It was dark when I was actually coming out. And uh, I love how the daylight just begins to, to come and just... Every day is a history in the making. It's funny, we make history every single day. Let's see where the bottom of this thing is. See, we make history every single day. That's how it is. Every day is a brand new day. <laughs> Standing still. There's a lot of chaos going on right now. And the ability to be able to just stand still and watch and not get involved is powerful. <laughs> <laughs> it would just sit still and just watch everything and uh, it means everywhere you go you're sitting still when you sit somewhere and you don't feel like doing nothing just sit there and just enjoy it I think sometimes we always think that we have to be doing something but sometimes you just sit down like yesterday I wanted to read I couldn't so I just sat down where I was and just do a lot of thinking oh. good morning chicken 
<laughs> so there's the bears let you know that they are. So that's what I did yesterday. So lately I haven't been having much to say because I'm so in that trance stage that my heart is just what I call in the empty stage, just as just observing and just uh, being in the moment. Pretty much saying you got nothing to worry about. But my old Abbey do kicks in. But because of years of practicing, my only my mind can only worry for a short period of time before it comes back to realizing that letting go is just the only way. This moment is Wulaha. <laughs> That's it, this moment is all I have. Uh, yeah, I've done this thing delicately. Uh, I miss my Uncle Dave. My Uncle Dave Jones is a scholar and a lawyer. I miss all our uh, discussion, philosophy, <laughs> intellectual debates. I truly miss that. <laughs> I remember uh, we just come out and just run for miles and just debate. It's very interesting. And just uh, so one of his favorite words is, yeah, I was reading that book diligently, he always say. It's funny how time goes by. One minute somebody's with you and the next thing you know, they're gone. To me, that alone is a miracle. I sometimes just can't believe it. How somebody was just sitting there talking to you and they're just going like that. I guess it makes life precious. Makes one realize, good morning sir, how beautiful this life is and how short it is. And it has its own very powerful form. How different people from different walks of life has walked the same path and they're not here anymore. Just amazing, amazing. Another thing that's probably trending a lot is how, for some reason, we think of oh, this new technology. And the people before us, <laughs> they think that they have some special technology and everybody just, just amazing. Good morning. Uh, it's just amazing how these things truly work out. And we all think, oh, this is the corruption, yeah, this technology. So I'm sure everybody will say that from the way things are. Music is also another thing. I've always questioned myself, who really started music? Who's the first person to sing? <laughs> and of course history is going to say a lot of things about it. But who was actually there becomes another question. Oh, listen to that bird. Somewhere over there. I like listening to this bear because this is so unique. How they just. And the scene. I like showing a lot of nature and just. Um, just to inspire and just encourage. <laughs> it's really amazing how uh, we take, good morning, we take little things for granted, like coming out to just jog. And, and as I do this 26 miles, seven to five days a week, I uh, begin to realize it's a lot easier than I thought it is. <laughs> yeah, because I was just joking. Uh, right about now, I'm halfway done, and I'm just looking at it like, wow. I guess it's all in the mind. Everything is all in the mind. When you begin to look at it, it's just okay. We're almost done because every day when I come out here, by the time I do a couple of miles, boom, I'm almost done. I'm literally almost done right about now. <laughs> I'm halfway through. And that just blew me away. 
So the whole idea of running 26 miles, just coming out and just jogging and just lean forward, absolutely amazing because what it does, you don't want to get tired. So you want to be able to do the same thing the day after and the day after. So I tend to lean forward a lot. I, uh, I did uh, do a lot of calisthenic yoga, I call it. So I've shifted my thing to where I do some push-ups yoga in the house. <laughs> and I don't start doing the other side of the push-ups until I get to that mile 13 all the way. So once I start doing this push-up again, it means I'm halfway down, which I'm about to do right about now. <laughs> so that makes it so unique. It does require a lot of discipline. I actually got up about 2 o'clock today. I did good. It was supposed to be 1.30 but I snugged up. No, I think it was about 2.30 when I got up. So I was able to squeeze the reading, meditation, push-ups. <laughs> and just get out of there. And come on. Good morning. And just uh, start my day. So doing this thing repetitionally on a daily basis, you know, four, five, six times a week is not really a big deal. I think today is marathon 100, 114, I think. <laughs> 114. Just do it for the fun of it. <laughs> so that's what I'm sort of doing right now. And it really does build up the body because your body becomes stronger and stronger. So it's all about that mind, body and soul. Just working out everything. I call it what I call the superhuman status. <laughs> I'm trying to be superhuman. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. But today, yeah, but like lately, my mind has just been so at Centered, I haven't had anything to say, and that is because I'm just in this space of glips, I call it, where moments are coming outside of my own body. Like I was saying earlier, my mind doesn't really wander to the to the past as much as it used to. So like right now, it's almost like I can only think about things for a little bit before I realize I need to just be in the now. So it don't even take that long. So all of it is all in the now. So any emotion that I go through, I just sit down and enjoy it. <laughs> so it's Thursday morning. Another beautiful day. Uh, yeah. Another thing that I do a lot is vibrate from people's energy. That's why I always say hello. I make contact with people. And say hello to them. Because we all want, we, you know, and, and I pretty much connect with everybody. And that really gives me that push to be able to move forward. Because just saying that hello and somebody smiling just lifts up <laughs> that energy. I was telling someone yesterday that because a lot of people are into their ego status. Good morning. This thing cannot be done properly because you have to be in that laughing and loving status to be able to push your body like this. And that's what I was saying yesterday also that when you look at a woman when she's giving birth to a baby, she don't give a biscuit about makeup. At that moment, she is humble and ready to give life. And that's what I go by every day. Just thinking about childbearing makes me realize every day that I can actually push my body beyond what I've been taught that it can do. <laughs> and I go by that philosophy. If a woman can push out a baby, I can do anything with my body. And it's absolutely amazing. I think, wow, I wish I saw someone told me this years ago. <laughs> Good morning. Have a great day. So, yes, let me go ahead and uh, 
across this traffic light and move this bit a little. I wish I had one of those gold cameras where I can just talk at the same time and move. Holding this camera, I gotta slow down and do this. So yes, uh, happy Thursday. Another 26 miles is coming up. I'm gonna say, have a great day and one love.